do's and do's. Take one. People look at me and think, oh my God, she's so sensational, so sublime, and I am. Yes, I was lucky enough to win the DNA lottery, but that doesn't mean there aren't maintenance issues. Take this lithosome slab of stunningness. We have so much in common, and yet we're opposites in many ways. This pure, pristine piece of perfection is not high maintenance, whereas I am. The truth is, Litherstone's beauty regime is much easier than mine. Follow these simple do's and do's, and your Litherstone will maintain its supermodelness. Do not. Do not put hot pots directly on the stone because you'll crack it. Do not cut directly on the stone because I'll crack it. Do not use spit. What do you use? A camel? Do not clean litherstone with nail polish remover, paint remover, or strippers. The strippers? I would never put a stripper on my bench. Hello, this is a kitchen, not a bucks party. Do not try to clean your litherstone using oven cleaner, domestos, or drain cleaner. Major duh. Hello, I mean, really? Did you just grow up in a cave? Do's. Do's use hot water and a litherstone cream cleanser with a non abrasive sponge. Do's use Windex. It worked for my big fat Greek wedding and it'll work for your big fat litherstone bench too. Now, this is a beautiful stone and so is this litherstone. As recommended by me, Effie, aka Mrs. Shane Bradley Cooper. <gasps> Ooh.